Well, I just told the world how to build a free energy machine is what I told them. Okay, now, if we assume that what I've explained about the way we have approached uh, the use of the energy which is freely available from the vacuum, vacuum energy is now acceptable even in physical review, thanks to some fine work by people of the stature of Hal Putoff, for example. It's very, very straightforward, very technical, and, and it's now an acceptable thing. We know the vacuum, and it is accepted. It's a field with energy. And Tesla always said that it was. So once again, Tesla has been vindicated by modern quantum mechanics after all of these years. I think uh, if we look at some of the other incidents, um, as for example, Tesla talked about being able to tap the energy of cosmic rays. He talked, um, in fact, his nephew reported as a child riding in the car where Tesla had put in um, an engine of some kind which was self-powered. So we find then later references to Tesla which suggest the harnessing of energy from today, we would say, from the vacuum. So does that sound reasonable to us today from where I'm coming from? Yes, indeed, because that's exactly what we have done. We take it uh, in the potential across the source. We simply use the hidden wave flow from the Whitaker stuff. We want to extract that and use it in this displacement current form. While it's still energy flow and none of it's being lost, we do not wish to make work until we store it up and discharge it in the load separately. We do it just like a heat pump. And I really think that's probably the way Tesla did it in that car engine. He also knew there was enormous energy in what was called cosmic rays, and he connected that with the whole idea of the energetic vacuum, we would say today. And I think that's just one of the ways he referred to it. Uh, for example, we know from T. Henry Morey's work that he was inspired by Tesla's statement that the, the energy of the ether itself was literally filled with rivers of energy free for the taking.